Hello, this is Mark Gallucci, Training Manager for Digital Control Incorporated. This brief video is going to detail the use of the HAG system, height above ground. So here we are sitting at the Digitrack F5's main menu. I'll use, it, use the thumb switch, and progress down to that selected menu. And there it is, height above ground or HAG. I'll click that trigger. I've got three options here. I can disable the egg, turn it off. I can enable it, turn it on. And using the keypad, I can set the hag, the height above ground. So we'll go ahead and set it. Before we do that, we need to find out what your particular hag setting is. And you do that by picking up the handheld receiver, stand tall, stand comfortable, get a tape measure, and measure the distance from the underside of your Digitrack F5 receiver to the ground. My height is typically 21 inches. As you can see, it says 21 inches now. But let's say somebody else decides to use it and they need to load a different value in there. You get to the keypad, just like we are now, and let's say 19 inches. Go to the 1, click it, thumb it back down, get to the 9, click it, 19 inches. Do you like that? If so, thumb over to that curved arrow button. That is the enter button. Click it. 19 inches. How do you verify that that's taken? Go to the locate menu, locate mode, click the trigger. Hold the trigger, which is when you do when you find the depth. And there it is. This box now believe it is 19 inches off the ground. And once again, you did that by you're holding it off the ground and measuring this distance. Let's get back to that HAG setting. Disable the HAG. Well, let's go ahead and disable it. Okay. Back to the locate mode screen. Hold the trigger. Once again, there's the icon. It shows the box is on the ground. So we've disabled the HAG setting. Thumb it back. Once again, we'll go to the HAG. So what, here you go. I can disable it, I can enable it, and I can set it. So wrapping up, I'd like to tell you why Digital Control puts the HAG setting in the F5 receiver. And we do that for several reasons. But the most important reason has to do with interference avoidance. When you have an interference that's underground, your best course of action is to get the box off of the ground. Getting separation from what's causing you a disturbance, from what's causing that interference. Separation is your first line of defense. Merely holding the box a little bit off the ground is going to allow you that separation that oftentimes is enough to get you through the problem. So. The biggest reason why we put the HAG setting in there has to do with interference avoidance. And the HAG is merely a replacement for the ultrasonic system that we found in our Mark series and the Eclipse. If you recall, those older systems, they had two holes on the underside of the box. One of those holes would emit an ultrasonic tone. It would shoot out the underside of the box. It would bounce off the nearest hard surface and rebound and, caught, and be caught by the, the adjacent hole. That was nothing but an electronic measuring tape. And that is how you told the box how high off the ground it was being held. So we've taken the ultrasonic system out and replaced it with the HAG, where you manually measure that height and then get to that keypad and load it in there. Another reason why it's preferable to keep the box off of the ground, it has to do with telemetry. Again, that is the ability of the handheld unit to send information back to the remote display. Holding the box off the ground gives you a cleaner line of sight for that signal to get, to get back to the drill. So you're going to get a bit better, better range when we keep the box off the ground. Personally, I find locating carrying the box at my side, walking comfortably, a much quicker locate. If I had to put the box on the ground every single time I took a depth reading, 
That takes time to say nothing of the wear and tear on your back as you bend over countless times during the course of a drill. So it is quicker. And lastly, I'd like to point out a situation we know as signal saturation. So we'll give you a quick example of signal saturation by going back to the main menu, going back to the locate mode. And here's our typical locating scenario. Signal saturation. You know you're at signal saturation when you see 999 in the signal strength window. The transmitter is so close to the handheld receiver that you've overwhelmed it with signal. You will not be able to find depth when you're in signal saturation. So for the drillers that are drilling shallow, 20 inches or shallower, half a meter or shallower, and you put the box on the ground, well you are now so close to that transmitter that's underground, you, are, you will be in a signal saturation situation. How do you get away from that? Use the HAG setting. Tell that handheld unit how high off the ground you're comfortably holding it, load it in there, and you will no longer have that signal saturation mode. So reviewing HAG we use for a couple of reasons. Primarily interference avoidance. We need separation from what's causing us interference. There is a real misnomer in this industry. Many, many Digitrack users believe the closer they put that Digitrack receiver to the transmitter, meaning putting it on the ground, the better the information they're receiving. And that really is not the case. When you are in an interference area, you're actually doing the exact opposite of what you should be doing. Separation is how you're going to get in, around, or through. The handheld unit is no more accurate when it's placed on the ground than when it's held comfortably at your side. It is no more accurate when the box is placed on the ground than when it's held comfortably at your side. It just isn't. So that's it for the HAG setting. Look for other videos that detail other portions of the Digitrack F5 main menu.